the can you just take us uh, all this question uh, in Lanka dream? Why Surya was made the captain? Why Hardy was made the captain? I mean, why Surya was made the captain? Uh, because he's one of the deserving candidates. Yeah, one, one we know we've been now I've been around the group over the last year. You get feedback from the dressing room a lot. Uh, he's got a good cricket brain. He's still one of the best T20 batters in the world. One of the main issues, of obviously, was uh, you want a captain that's going to or likely to play all the games. I mean, we we think he's a deserving candidate, and uh, hopefully, we'll see over time. Uh, how he develops into the role, but uh, as regards to Hardik, uh, I mean, as look, he's he's still a very important player for us, he, and that's what we want him to be that player that he can be because those sorts of skill sets are very difficult to find. What he has, uh, fitness obviously has been a challenge for him over the last few years, and that that you know then then it becomes a little bit more difficult for say a coach or you know even us as selectors when you're trying to now we've got a bit more time. Till the next T20 uh, World Cup, where we can we can look at a few things. It's not not rushed at the moment, and uh, we want him to be, you know, as like I said, he's an important player for us, and hopefully his performances are more important. And uh, that was the thought behind it. Yeah, I mean the fitness is a clear challenge, and we want we want something who's someone who's likely to be available more often than not. And uh, look again, after saying all that, we think Surya has got the got the necessary. Uh, you know, necessary qualities that uh, you need to succeed as a captain. Uh, Adit, uh, can you ever, uh, can you uh, give the Yeah, I wasn't there when KL was superseded, so it wasn't me. Uh, no, I wasn't selector then. Firstly, and uh, I just explained the reasons behind uh, what we're looking at. We've got a little bit more time now till the. Since I've come, there's been a 50-over World Cup, almost followed by the T20 World Cup. At that point, we've we've seen, and like I said, you know, fitness is a concern. Not just that. I mean, I we also feel that Surya has the necessary qualities to to be a good captain. Hopefully, uh, we see that over time. There is. Two years is a long time, so at least it gives us a bit more of a chance to try and look at some things differently. Uh, and the main thing is uh, we want uh, guys who are available all the time here. And in this way, we we also feel we can manage Hardik a little bit better, because like I said, he's an important player for us. Uh, we've seen even in this World Cup, and you know his performances both with the bat and the ball are important, and that is more important to the team than uh, anything else. Yeah. So, yeah, we speak to every player, yeah, whether. I mean, he's been part of the team anyway. It's not like he's been left out. So, no, we speak to every player. Well, if their roles are changed, and uh, yeah, he's been spoken. To. Look, from my point of view, pretty simple. I think uh, important is to give players the freedom. I think that's what I absolutely believe in, and not have a relationship which is of a head coach and a player. I think for me, I think the best relationship is a relationship which is built on trust, and that is going to be very important. I can, I can promise guys that. I think the most important thing for me is that they will always have my back, and I've always said that a happy dressing room is a winning dressing room, and happy and secure dressing room. So that's my responsibility, alongside the entire support staff, to make it a happy and a secure dressing room. And uh, that's what I think. Uh, for me, I think I don't complicate too many things, and neither do I want to complicate because one thing we need to be clear that I think I'm taking over a very very successful team, a T20 World Champion. I think. Uh, Runner-ups in World Test Championship, runner-ups in 50 over World Cup. So it's not that it's not a successful team. So yes, I think it's big shoes to fill. But then looking forward to it. Gautam, can you tell us about your working relationship with the BCCI secretary, Jay Shah? How did this entire appointment came to be? Can you explain us? No, I think I've got a fabulous relationship with him. With Mr. Jay Shah, I think uh, we go a long way back, and all these. Speculations about different things, maybe on different pages. I think all this, I think we can do a better job from probably clarifying those things rather than putting it in the press because we go a long way back. And uh, so far, I think it's been it's been a great relationship. Hopefully, it continues that way because 
the betterment of Indian cricket is more important. Gautam Gumbir is not important. I think uh, if all of us have a heart in the right place and if we all of us think that Indian cricket needs to move forward, for that I think all of us are on the same page. So really enjoyed so far working with him and hopefully I can continue the same in the future as well. I mean, every player who's left out feels hard done by. It's, I mean, our challenge is to pick only 15. You try and get the best balance possible. So someone's likely to miss out. Uh, sometimes they've had some decent performances uh, in recent times, but you've got to see who's picked ahead of them. I mean, are those guys not deserving of their place? If that's the thing, then we, there is things to discuss. But at this stage, I mean, uh, we had an opportunity to give some of those guys, you know, a go in the Zimbabwe series which was good. So we have enough depth if tomorrow there's loss of form from the players that are playing or there are injuries. But it's it's tough. I think it's, I mean, Rinku, for no fault of his missed out from the World Cup, you know, it's it's an example. He, he, he had a terrific uh, T20 leading up to the World Cup. But it's sometimes just the way it goes. Unfortunately for us as well, uh, it's difficult to fit everyone in the 15. Um, and uh, as tough as it is for the player, that's that's generally a life of a player. Yeah? I, that's why when you get an opportunity, you try and put up performances. So as soon as somebody who's ahead of you is not quite up to the mark or doesn't, or there's an injury there, you are ready to pick. And you could take a lot of names. You've taken three names, but there are a lot of names, uh, and it's tough on them. But uh, that's just the reality. Yeah? We can only pick 15. Yeah, I think it would, would have been really I mean, pointless to take both him and Akshar for this short series. Uh, we know what Jaddu's done, he's had a terrific World Cup, a yeah, 50 over World Cup. So, uh, no, not at all dropped. I think uh, all options are open, but there was either of them wouldn't have played all three games if we'd taken both. That was the thing. There's a big test season coming up where he's likely to feature in a lot of the tests out of that. So, uh, I don't think three games would have mattered. I think we probably should have clarified that after the selection that. He's, he's not been dropped. Uh, he's still within the scheme of things and uh, very important as a player. I have a question for uh, each of you. Uh, Rahul, you mentioned that you're taking over as The fact that in the next uh, less than 12 months now, you're going to play 10 important test matches and uh, uh, the champions drop. Uh, how do you balance it out while starting the spin? So that would have always been a challenge because when you take over in all the three formats and uh, more importantly that after the Sri Lanka tour we got a long break, we got a month break and then we've got 10 test matches. I think that's that's not bad because then you're playing continuously those 10 test matches with big tour of Australia coming up as well but then again I think that's what, that is what challenge is all about and uh, more importantly really excited about it and uh, hopefully uh, Hopefully we can do really well in those 10 test matches and the chairman has already said it that uh, some of the players who did miss out on this tour to Sri Lanka because there are 10 test matches and someone like Ravindra Jadija is very important for all those 10 test matches. So yes, I think uh, really looking forward to all those 10 test matches. Uh, you mentioned the reasons for looking beyond Harkar Speaker. You were not around personally when he was handed over the job, but some of the members were formed. So in that sense, uh, uh, was it a unanimous decision to kind of look at other options and uh, uh, what signal does it send to a larger picture that uh, you can't really take it? Yeah, I don't think any any player takes it for granted anyway. I mean, every time you try and play, your place is on the line, you want to perform. I mean, these discussions don't happen overnight. We, we sort of discuss them through the last few months. Uh, leading up to the World Cup as well, so I mean these chats had happened before as well, and uh, you know it's not an overnight thing where you just decide that someone should be captain or shouldn't be captain. There's obviously a lot of thought goes in. You get a lot of feedback from the dressing room as well. Uh, 
what what sort of qualities that you are looking for uh, and i mean the biggest thing is the captain should be on the park more often than not i mean that's that's a prerequisite really uh, and hopefully uh, you know surya uh, does that and I, I, so far there's never been a concern with his t20 batting anyway I think uh, they've shown what they can deliver on the big stage, whether it was the T20 World Cup and the 50 over World Cup as well. See, one thing I can be very clear of, I think uh, both those guys have got a lot of cricket left in them. And more importantly, with Champions Trophy and a big tour of Australia, obviously they would be motivated enough because, and then hopefully if they can keep their fitness, 2027 World Cup as well. But this is a very personal decision. I can't say how much cricket is left in them. Ultimately, it's up to them as well. It's up to the players. How much can they contribute in the team's success? Because ultimately, it's the team that is important. But looking looking at what Virat and Rohit can deliver, I think they still have a lot of cricket. And they're still world-class players. And obviously, any team would want to have both of them for as long as possible. Uh, I think you spoke about uh, I, I didn't uh, quite hear the question properly. I, I, I heard. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Rishabh's been out for a long time. Yeah. We need to get him back playing. That's the first thing. He's he's going to be a key to us as a player. Uh, hasn't had a lot of cricket, so we've seen what he can do in international cricket. He's won test series almost off his own bat. So we want him back playing. I think that's that's the first thing. You don't want to burden somebody again who's just coming back after what over a year out of the game. Uh, KL, uh, yeah, look, I mean KL's not been part of T20 now for a little while. Uh, again, like I said, you you look at the some of the feedback that you get. We've we've got we've got a chance. To reset the button a little bit, we've got a bit more time to plan. You want to try and see. I mean, this time T20, frankly, when Hardik did get injured, was was a little bit of a challenge. At that point, Rohit wasn't playing. Uh, Rohit was still around, made our life a lot easier that he could come and lead. We don't want that situation uh, going forward again. Uh, Shubman's the guy that we we feel again as he's a three-format player, firstly, uh, and uh, seems to show a lot more qualities over the last year or so that we. Uh, here from the dressing room and uh, that's why we want to try and have somebody who can also learn from a couple of the senior guys that are there, Surya in this instance or Rohit who's still around. Uh, so we don't uh, face the same challenges as yeah, suddenly trying to look for a captain in case there is there are injuries or loss of form, form somewhere. So that's, that's the idea again, he's shown some decent leadership qualities and we want to try and get him the experience that, uh, that he can going forward and that's the thought. There are no guarantees. In life, but at, at the at this point, that's the thought. Uh, I have one question each for Ajit and uh, Ajit. Uh, Rishabh Pant, ever since his return, he's mainly played T20 cricket. So, how did you weigh his performance, or how did you like take a call of uh, leaving Sanju Samson out of ODIs and playing Pant as the second wicketkeeper for the first? And for Gautam, you are someone who's advocated for players to consistently play. All matches uh, instead of picking and choosing. Uh, so going forward, how do you uh, look forward to managing the likes of say Rohit, Kohli, or even Bumrah, who often tend to uh, manage their workloads and miss out on assignments? Look, I've said it before that workload management for someone like just be Bumrah is important. But for a batter, if they can play consistently, if they're in good form, might as well just play all the games. And with now Rohit and Virat not playing T20 cricket, they only have two formats to look after. So I'm sure they're going to be available for most of the most of the games. But yes, for Jasbeet Bumrah, because he's one rare kind of a bowler which anyone would want. So it's our responsibility to try and have him fresh for most of the important games. That's why workload management, not only for Jasbeet Bumrah, 
but for most of the fast fast bowlers becomes really really important uh, with regards to rishabh i mean he, before his unfortunate uh, accident i mean he's he's been a key player for us yeah. so now that he's back like i said you want to get him around the group again playing again so kl has been terrific in one day cricket uh, we've seen he's he had a great world cup as well so yeah unfortunately someone had to miss out and in this instance it was uh, sanju it's look these guys will have to keep getting runs keep performing otherwise you know there is another quality player waiting uh, big test season coming up we, we obviously feel these two will have a huge role to play and to get rishabh playing again just you know he's like you said he's only played t20 cricket to get him uh, 50 over will be another step forward uh, hopefully